So what is this? So this is a motherboard that's from Aeon and it has three Calzada SOCs on it. Um, they are the Calzada ECX2000, which is an ARM Cortex A15 quad core. And each of these cores is communicating with SATA drives within our 1U storage solution. Is it actually in there? Yes, it is. Yeah? So yes, it's it three, each of them communicating with how many? Each of these is communicating with four, S with four SATA drives. So that's like uh, 12? And yes, 12 total and 3 terabytes each. That's quite a bit of storage. Could uh, you do 4 terabytes? We could if there's one available. And the ones that we're using in here are the 3.5 inch drives. We can do 2.5 inch drives. As long as it is SATA storage technology, we can do it, whether it's flash or whatever. So here, uh, uh, from Aeon. Yes. And who are you? I'm a solution architect for Aeon, which means that I do a bit of technical marketing in the field, as well as work with our sales team and our customers for determining what their requirements are and what solutions best fit in. So it's an Asus association company? It's an Asus company, which yeah. means that we are one of the Asus companies. And we're focused on industrial applications, um, cloud computing, as well as your traditional embedded. So point of information, point of sales kiosks, um, industrial automation, building automation, machine to machine and internet of things. Uh, and quite a bit of different solutions, board level as well as system level. So you do many things? We really do, but we're focused on ARM storage solutions here at this event. Do you do stuff that's not ARM? We do stuff that's not ARM. We do quite a bit of different x86 technologies uh, from Intel and from Freescale as well as from AMD. But uh, this is this like is, the new stuff, right? Yes, this is the new stuff. And. Um, can you try to can you explain a little bit more uh, how this is important? Well, how one of this the is... biggest things that's important about this is power savings. You get very good performance, but at a vastly reduced um, amount of power consumption. It can <laughs> so therefore it's performance per watt compared to a high performance x86 solution, pretty much cut in, in half. Half, half the power. Half, cost. The, half the power consumption. Yeah. Which means a lot lower heat, which means that your storage, your, your server room doesn't need to be air conditioned quite as highly, which means that your energy bill is down, which means that your overall cost savings company-wide is quite good without sacrificing the quality of your storage. But so it's half the power of the device, but there's much lower power, uh, there's it's much, much lower, lower cost in the cooling. Yes. So how much are you people saving? So if you compare it to its x86 counterpart, which would require about 250 watts, this one with all of the SOCs and all of the um, drives that are in, this, in the one-use yeah. system, only 150 watts total. 150 watts total? Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, but is that, how about the cooling and all that? Are you the saving cooling, even more then? You are. It's one fan blowing across yeah. all the system. And here, it's in very enclosed space, one fan for cooling. We haven't had to do very high air conditioning at so all. So it's way below half the price in power yeah, usage. When you look at the complete big picture, vastly reduced. All right. What kind of other things are you working on with ARM? So we have some ARM solutions for um, tablet computing, rugged mobile. Um, and we also have some ARM solutions in our single board computers that can be used for machine-to-machine -machine gateways that can be bolted on to other applications, uh, other systems. That way you're moving from a very discrete space to a very connected space, which means that um, you're meeting compliance standards better, you're optimizing your total cost, and you're also having the opportunity to increase, you know, come up with additional revenue streams, uh, better maintenance and service for systems on a proactive basis rather than a reactive basis. And all, all because very good ARM technology behind it. Uh, so this is like the storage solution? Yes. But I guess at Aeon you may have some other ideas what you might do right. so with ARM? Right. So we can do um, in the storage solution side, big data uh, analytics, uh, web services, as well as some cloud computing support. Um, for our other solutions, I mentioned tablets, um, in-vehicle applications, um, just, just a very wide variety. But you haven't announced yet the other kinds of we server have stuff, have you? We, um, we have not announced a lot of the server okay. stuff yet. This is but our it, first introduction. It could be coming, right? It is coming. I would say check back with Aon Q1, Q2 next year.